Hello everyone, I am Hardik Patel and this is my fourth video of git tutorial series. Today I am going to explain git configurations commands. So let's start with one. First we will see the status so I can explain in a better way. Okay, so let's check out first all the files which are changed. Yeah. So first we will look at this command git log so here you can see the name as a author hnm patel and the email id is like hnm patel at the red users dot no reply dot github dot com and in the second commit you can see hardik patel because that commit was done by me in this system that's why now if you want to see if you want to change those names or email id then you can do with this command git config I find from global global means there are two kind of uh, configurations are available one is global global means you have multiple repositories in your system then that glo if you if you change the configuration using this global command then it will be affecting all the get repos but if you don't do this and just change the name here then that will be affecting only current repo right so for now actually this is my own system so i will do for global because in next time i will not do anything right okay now user dot name here i will paste user git and you can see by like this you just give the key name like this user.name it will show you that what is the username you have set here similar to that I can change user.email at the red page.com okay sorry uh, there is one command fell I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So this is email ID and this is username I have set. Now let me commit one thing. This is one file is there. Uh, so I will add that case.txt get commit f1 new page file added. Now if you if I will see the git log, see now author is changed test user and email id is hnmportal at the red test.com so similar to that you can change those name and email id by using those commands right if you want to see where it is stored then it is like this hyphen hyphen global and then hyphen e or double hyphen edit so if you will enter this it will open my configuration file in editor so you can see here that email id is equal to this name equal this you can change it here as well all right okay so let's change not change this because we have already done that okay what is the next command so next command is that git config uh, ui so color dot branch so okay so if i want to change colors in this uh, here like if I will see the branch so you can see there is okay let me create one branch first paste branch now I can see multiple branches here so now you cannot see the difference between this master and test until unless only you see that star but if I want to change the color of the selector branch we will not have any that much deep integration deep configurations available but at least we can say that like this git config color dot branch true now if, if you will see git branch you will see the color of that master branch is in green right so that that, that is how you can change the colors there are more variables are available like uh, there is uh, status you can change the color this is not changing the color but this is the uh, this configuration is for disabling or enabling the functionality right so this is also can be done for diff 
so whenever you uh, do this command git diff so it will change uh, it will show you the changes available in the current files so those are also colored or not colored you can define here color dot diff here instead of this uh, branch you can put diff right then also you can there are multiple are there so you can you can try those changes in your system or in your any get repository as we don't have much time so we can uh, proceed to other commands as well this is not uh, like commands you daily use but i just provided the functionality what is uh, what is the availability in the functionality okay next so git config core dot file mode is equal to yeah so what is this core dot file mode so let's say uh, i am running one web application in my uh, apache server right so of course i have to change the permission to run uh, as a apache there are any there are many other ways without changing permission you can uh, run the application but if i want to change that permission to www data or something as user then it will show you if if it is set false if it is set false sorry it, if it is set true then what it will does it will show you the changes even if you change the permission it will show as a difference all the files will be assigned as a changed files so it will ask to add those changes and commit that but you know that that is not the case that i don't want to commit or something then you can just set false so what it will does so what it will do it will do just ignore those permissions so generally they, this will be useful when you uh, when you are working on project in which multiple developers are working on all the developers are not working on the same system or they are working on a windows machine or uh, any different machines then it will be helpful for you right okay next git config help dot uh, what was that help dot yes auto correct auto correct true so what it will does let me yeah sorry yeah so i know that uh, help dot auto correct it has two values 0 and 1 0 means it will not auto correct your command but it will suggest you that this was the main uh, you mean like this get s t s c i have written the wrong uh, message git status right the command was wrong so it is suggesting that did you mean this status right but if you set this to one it will not ask to do uh, correct that but instead it will auto correct and show me that message right yeah so that was another one now next one so so what is crlf and crlf and lf so crlf that means carriage return and line feeding characters those are used in windows machine in the files but lf that means line feedings only the character is used in the line ending in the linux system so what happens like if you are working on any project and many developers are working on the windows machine and few developers are working on linux system that means that is cross platform so to tackle the situations what you need to do so if you are on a windows system just set like this git config core dot auto crlf to pro so in windows machine what it will do just it will whenever you check out something you pull this pull the changes from this uh, remote machine remote repository then all the files automatically converted into the crlf so which are which is required in windows machine but when you add files any file then it will not consider the crlf and instead of that it will it will automatically convert to lf and it will add that 
so there will not be any problem when you are working on windows system right now in this same thing in that linux so what happens like uh, if if all the windows developers uh, all the developers who are working on windows system if they have said this as true then there will not be any problem but by mistakenly someone has not changed those things and uh, by mistake he has uh, committed one file which has crlf line of end right end of line so in linux system if you have said like this git config core dot auto crlf to input input means so not convert all the files to lf but if you find any crlf file with crlf uh, character file it will automatically convert to the lf and it will save that so next time whenever you commit that change automatically it will auto convert to lf so that will be helpful in linux system and third scenario that if application you are working which is completely windows based then there is no developer on linux system so in those case just set false so it will not change crlf to lf or something because lf is not required in this case because you are working on completely windows based application right okay so i think uh, that's it these are the commands you you are going to use in a daily basis so that's enough for in a git configuration you can proceed and one more command i forgot to uh, mention that git config core dot editor yeah so when i commit something then it will open the editor to uh, write a message right so that editor if you want to change instead of vim like nano then also you can do like this right but if let me show that git commit i found command unable to start editor nano because in my system nano is not there that's why but if i open this in code code means visual studio code right and now if i fire this amend command it will open that code automatically see new test file added but why you should not use this code command code library because this is not blocking it is open and just written back so this is not useful but you can use emac there are uh, various commands are available vim only vi right so this is another useful command for you okay that's it i think uh, if you have uh, any more questions on this just put those questions in my comment section thanks for watching and if you have liked this video please subscribe my channel thanks